Thank you, thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Agriculture. Indeed, agriculture is critically important in my electorate of Lyons. Will the Minister inform the House how the government's budget assists Australian farmers and agribusinesses through investment in research and development? I call the Honourable the Minister for Agriculture. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the Honourable Member for his question. And he's a, someone who has incredible experience in the wool industry. In fact, a long and, and good history of the wool industry. You've been part of the sell, sales of it. Uh, and of course, the wool industry is a great example of research and Jelly development, Brand Madam Speaker. Here, here. Uh, when we first started in our nation, it was probably cutting uh, an average sheep would probably cut about um, four pounds, about two kilos of wool. And now they're cutting around about up to seven kilos uh, of, of wool. Uh, the micron has gone down. It used to be around about 24, 25. Mi micron now it's down to about uh, 19 in the member's seat. And this is all part of research and development, Madam Speaker. All part of research and development. And the reason, one of the reasons it's great to talk about the wool industry in the member's seat is I've re realised lately that we are now experiencing some of the highest prices for four years. In fact, they say the market, the wool market, is going ballistic. And isn't that good? The wool market's going ballistic. We've got, we've got record prices in cattle, record prices in cattle, record prices in sheep, strong prices in cotton, and the wool market's going ballistic. You almost think that we had a good management, we had good government, good government bringing about good returns. And of course, uh, the reason the reason that happens is because we managed to put. Uh, we're happy. We're happy to be part of the research and development that this nation puts towards this industry. Madam Speaker, it's around about $700 million a year is invested uh, through research and development and extension. It's about, 200 and about close to a quarter of a billion dollars, close to $250 million a year in the Ford estimates that will go towards research and development. And this is uh, going to make sure that our nation stays at the forefront of the soft commodity market, the forefront of the agricultural market. Madam Speaker, it was only today that we made a, a very large announcement in this building—$45 million, $45 million to, toward, that the GRDC put towards um, research into making sure that we have more effective chemicals to deal with zero-till agriculture. Extremely important if we want to preserve water, if we want to have uh, a, a greater carbon reduction in the soils, uh, if we want to make sure that the organic contact of the soils stays high. Um, this is important, and it happened today in this building. It shows a clear nexus between the investment in the budget and the investment in a stronger soft commodity market. Uh, we will be doing this in, in, uh, with Bayer Research in Frankfurt, and it helps us deal with 39 uh, weeds that are currently resistant and helps us get out on top of this. And it's a clear example to the Australian people that this is a government that is not only presiding over the strongest soft commodity prices in a long period of time, but is also a government that has a strong mind to the future. Here, 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 here. I call the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. <clears throat>